I'm ready to make music with you. <coughs> awesome. All right. I'm ready to make music with you, Connor. Are you ready? Are you ready to go on this journey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel in this on, chair. Then. I feel like the journey is upon us. Like we're about to go somewhere. Should I? No, 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 no. That is the case. We're going. We're going we're somewhere. Going to Belmont Villa. We're going to Belmont Villa. Oh yeah. Well, you can't make me laugh when you pull the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. We going? Yeah, we're going. Okay. I'm feeling mighty lonesome. I haven't slept a wink I walk the floor and watch the door And in between I drink Black coffee Love's a hand-me-down brew I never know the sun into the shadows from 1 a.m. to 4 Lord how slow the moments go when all I do is pour black coffee Hard to find black coffee. 
to talk or um, where to look so I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm having the most beautiful time thank you for being here thank you so much thank you for being here Connor let's move on with a hoagie Carmichael tune that is going to send you to another dimension of magic and jazz and uh, it will be led by the instrument that sends us to um Fairy tale land. Haven't you heard the music in the night? Such warm 
these two musicians have been trying to pin this man down <laughs> for years so yeah, this is <laughs> this is a treat and Connor you're always appreciated it's just he sees me like every single day Connor is our glue hmm? <laughs> you really are the instrument and yourself when I originally thought about making music with David um, the first tune, you remember this, I DM'd you on Insta like an absolute creep. And you, you know what? I slid in his DMs. In his DMs. <laughs> <laughs> and I used the next tune as an excuse, but really it was a vision that I had, or rather a sound vision. What's what's the sound equivalent of a vision? Sound vision. Okay, we're gonna just we're gonna stick sound with that. Vision, like we should it. patent it. Yeah. So this sound vision came into my head and I thought it would be the most beautiful thing to hear vocals and vibes um, do this tune, which I learned from the queen of everything, Ella Fitzgerald. Not personally, Obs, that, that would have been too good. Um, so we're gonna present to you. Quite old now, wouldn't it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, she'd be like 445 <laughs> or something. But this is a Johnny Mercer tune. Hampton as well, yeah. Yeah, Johnny Mercer and Hampton tune um, called The Midnight Sun. <laughs> Was it a moonlit 
And then your arms miraculously found me Suddenly the sky turned pink And I saw the midnight sun Was that such a night? It's a thrill I still don't quite believe But after you were gone There was still some stardust on my And the stars forget to When your lips were close So very close to mine And I saw the midnight sun such a nice it's a thrill I still don't quite believe I just don't believe but after you were gone there was still some stardust on my The stars forget to shine, and we may see the meadow in December. I see white. So close to mine, and I 
long-term musical collaborator, Jamie Saphir. Um, well. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's about um, getting into uncompromising situations <laughs> with one of your best friends. Is Compromise. that a good way of describing? Compromising. Compromising, yes, not uncompromising. Compromise. It's, it's naughty. Let's, no. let's crack on. <laughs> it's, it's naughty. We're going to feature Connor um, and his absolutely massive violin on this one. <laughs> Can I have my note, please, baby? Oh, um, I was about to press a little flat like it was going to give me. <laughs> Can I do it? Thank God. <laughs> that was so fun. Bon. <laughs> Believe, believe me when you receive extra attention. I guess you stressed, arrived overdressed, not your intention. You know the story, it's too hard for me. Don't make me spell it out again, cause now I see the wood from the trees. My Come near, my dear, the people that said will be perfection. I know the score, just friends, but lovers with more. Our new invention. I might have dreamed it, you might have schemed it, but I feel your eyes are.
That wasn't your cue to then <laughs> return the compliment. It's honestly like playing music in a room with these guys after so long of not doing that like live thing. Do you know what I mean? Isn't it, it's just beautiful and soul beautiful. fulfilling. Yeah. I appreciate everyone's generosity. So glad you guys are here it's just well. really special. <laughs> We're gonna do one more tune for you, and um, <clears throat> the next tune is written by. Um, a lesser known Jewish composer and his brother. Um, his name was Jacob Gershevitz and his son, Israel Gershevitz. His son? His name was Jacob Gershevitz and his brother, Israel Gershevitz. And this is from a, uh, I think it was a bit of a flop, this musical, Porgy and Bess. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously it wasn't. It wasn't a flop, and I'm talking about George and Ira Gershwin who changed their names. Um, so we're just exposing them for their real beautiful Jewishness. And uh, <laughs> I've been really connecting with all the composers from my, my heritage and my history, and it turns out that um, everything that I sing is written by Jews. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> and we're gonna end the set with uh, this classic tune. It ain't necessarily, not celery, so, it's very hard for a dyslexic to sing this tune. <laughs> Do you want to count it off, babe?
I'm free to the sun to say that I'm learning. Things ain't what they see. Everything in the news ain't real. Some things might be like global warming. Turn this off here. Yeah, sure.